The number of people who are packing up and moving out just hit its highest level in more than a decade. KPI X5's Len Ramirez on the mass exodus and where all those people are going. Carol Dayback spent 40 years living in San Jose, but today the retired engineers packing up and calling it quits, about to move to the volunteer state of Tennessee. I loved it here when I first got here. I really loved it here. But it's just, it's not the same. She's part of a massive exodus from the Bay Area that's showing no signs of slowing down. Of course, people come and go in the Bay Area. That happens all the time. But for the first time in a long time, more people are leaving the Bay Area than coming in. And the number one spot in the nation for outward migration is now right here. Silicon Valley has been this place that was growing. And it was mostly growing because people coming in, not through population growth, but people relocating here and relocating from other parts of the world. That's changing. Joint Venture Silicon Valley's own study of the out-migration says workers are moving to Sacramento, Austin, and Portland, and blames several factors, but topping the list, high housing costs. You can't even contemplate getting into the housing market here. And I don't just mean service workers, I mean uh, highly skilled professionals. The tech elite are having a hard time affording uh, reasonable housing in Silicon Valley. So this is, um, this is difficult. This makes it very difficult for employers who are trying to recruit. Carol Dayback blames crowding, crime, and politics for her own exodus. We don't like it here anymore. You know, we don't like this sanctuary state status and just the, the politics here. She plans to sell her home for about a million dollars, buy a much larger place near Nashville for less than half that, and retire closer to family and friends. In San Jose, Len Ramitas, KPIX 5. Well, now nationwide, the cities with the highest inflows, according to Redfin, are Phoenix, Las Vegas, Atlanta, and Nashville.